Hello and welcome to Real Actors, Real Answers, the podcast where you are the star. Today, I am so excited to interview Stacey Wararu. She is has so many things on her plate, but she's balancing them very well, her and her family. I can't wait for you to meet her. So here she is. Stacy. how are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. Thank you for having me here. I'm really excited. Cool. Um, where are you from? Um, I'm from Nairobi, Kenya in Africa. And I love it here. <laughs> Good. I, I've seen pictures. Someday I would like to visit. <laughs> it, it looks so beautiful. You're an actress. Mm -hmm. What kind of things have you done? Could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, um, I was okay in movies. I have done three films so far: Lou Sala, Just in Time, Komodo, and I'm really proud of them. They're both they're all in Netflix, by the way, which is amazing. It's really big for me, and I'm really excited that people can be able to watch me all over the world. Yeah, that's excellent. Now we're. You've told me earlier you've been to different places besides your homeland. Well, um, my movie, my first movie, Supermodo, it did really well, which I'm very grateful for. And I was able to be invited to so many film festivals all over the world. I've gone to Poland, Germany, Qatar, gone to Senegal, and amazing places. And I'm really excited about that. <laughs> and how old are you? I'll be 14 on 1st December, so I'm 13 right now. Not for long, though. Awesome. Beautiful. Now, tell me something. Tell us something, Stacey. What, how long have you been acting, and, and, and when did you first get interested in it? Um, I have been acting for four years now, yeah, because that's when I first got my first movie when I was nine years old, uh, Supermodo. So first of all, it started like this. I used to go to school and I used to go to like drama club and I would be given like the main character role and I just loved it. And obviously like watching a lot of movies helped me to be able to nurture my talent. And my dad is also in the industry, so that also helped. So he always had this hard drive with so many movies and animations. So he just like grew in me, you know? And when I finally got the movie, it felt amazing. It felt in place. <laughs> Do you, uh, have you studied acting? Have you took class, taken, taken classes and things too? Does that help? Um, I haven't taken classes yet because, okay, I would say classes are very important, but they're really expensive. So, and we can't really afford them because here especially it's really expensive so i'd love to do classes one day but right now i'm just like teaching myself like crying on command is really helpful and like watching as much you know movies as i can you know like getting inspiration from johnny depp because he's amazing at everything he does <laughs> that's really cool yeah he you know he's johnny depp and yet he slips into these other people so very well you know yeah, um, he's a shapeshifter. A shapeshifter, I like that. <laughs> that's very, that's very superheroish. Um, yeah. Was I going to ask you? How do you shapeshift? How do you move into a character, and how do you study a script? Some people don't know how, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, this is how I study a script. Um, first of all, when I started, I didn't know anything. I was just doing what the movies were doing, honestly. So I had to have like a coach on there to help me a little bit. But right now, I take my roles very seriously. Like the role for Just In Time, playing Ashley, who's a sassy little girl. So I like like researched on like movies that have those type of characters and then I try and like see how they're acting how they're like responding to certain situations and then I just like get my stuff from there I obviously um read the script over and over just to understand what I am becoming and then I make up a few scenes at home and just like help myself, which helps <laughs> okay um yeah. what has been your favorite role so far 
Um, uh, my favorite was my first movie as Joe in Super Mario because she's an amazing character. She has cancer, and that movie helped me understand so much about kids who have cancer. Like, I even want to start my own foundation now because it's it's amazing what movies can teach you, honestly. So. She's my favorite character because she's just so real. You know, they did a great job making her real. I even had to shave my head, so it was really authentic, and I really like resonated with her somehow. <laughs> yeah. You shaved your head. How did you feel about that? Oh my god, I was so. Uh, I didn't want to. I really did not want to. My mom obviously was like against it, but then I was like, I want to be a Hollywood star, you know, because I've always wanted to be like, you know, big. And you know, they actually had to bribe me with pizza because I was like, I'm not doing this for free. So they gave me some pizza, and then I I agreed to it. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's wonderful. Um, you mentioned earlier, and believe it or not. Um, some adults have an issue, a problem, a challenge rather, of crying mm -hmm. on cue. How do you how do you approach it? What could you what kind of wisdom could you give us? Okay. Crying on cue is actually not hard. There are a lot of cheats that you can do, like not blinking is one that really helps. It helps you get mood but for me I don't like advocates like you know pretending that your family has died or something like that that's too much for me I don't want that to happen but what I do is I just like collect my emotions and try and become the character because there's a reason why this character is crying there's a reason why it's hurting them so much so I just try and like make myself believe that I am that person and I am going through that and I'm a very like empathetic person so that helps a lot I'm able to you know cry a lot which is a good thing and people should try that I like that don't be afraid of expressing your emotions right yeah yeah it's <laughs> excellent now what really intrigued me and believe me I'm going to watch every one of your movies but Okay. What really intrigued me was the uh, the voiceover for that animated uh, cartoon. Could you tell me something about that? Well, um, Super Sama is a superhero. She's a kid superhero. I've just been playing superheroes my whole life. Like my first movie was a superhero. Now this one is a superhero. But Sama is um, okay. She doesn't have powers. She uses like science and like math and technology to technovate stuff that can help her protect her village Dunia from this evil tyrant called Tabor who's a robot actually so it's it's really like modern and helps kids to understand that you don't need superpowers to be super which is amazing I love the story and every episode is so fun to watch I watch it all the time and yeah I'm really happy to be part of it so is this a series is it an ongoing um cartoon ongoing yes it's an ongoing series on youtube you can just search super sema and it's right there it's a youtube original yeah how did you get involved in that well it was actually from um uh, my first movie supermoto they saw it and they were like wow this girl has a nice voice you know so they're really like drawn to my voice and they told my dad and then I got to audition. It was like really last minute and rushed. And then I did it. And then they liked me. Yeah. How is it different than film? Oh, it is so different. Oh, my God. Okay, first of all, you don't have to look all glammed up, which is a plus. You know, you can just chill. But um, it's very different because you have emotions coming out of your voice. And you got to, you know, you got to make them come out. Because usually making fresh facial expressions are is really like simple, but like doing that with your voice is like something totally different, you know, like all the time I'm always smiling because there's a difference between like when I'm talking right now and when I'm smiling There's a really big difference. So yeah, that's how it's like different. Who is in your support team who, who supports you in this um, career. Well, my family, my family is my, like my biggest supporters. Oh my God, I'm always super grateful because not a lot of African parents can 
you know, like allow their kid to go out from school for a whole month to film a movie, you know, like here, like patient is everything. So I'm really grateful for my parents. They even allowed me to do homeschooling so that I can have time for other things. So my family, definitely. And also my sister, she's always giving me advice, helping me with like star stuff, <laughs> celebrity stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fabulous. Um, I'm glad that your school understands and appreciates what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so what grade are you in right now? Um, I am in year, year 10. I'm doing year 10 right now. So let me see. Uh, do you have any projects you're currently? Do you have any projects you're currently working on? Oh, any projects? Yes, right now. Is there any projects you're currently working on? There are. Um, hmm. I have this project I already worked on at the beginning of the year. It's a it's a really big project. It's really big, and I'm really excited about it. I can't really say a lot about it because it's it's that big. There's an NDA, like a non-disclosure agreement and everything. Yeah. And it's like a dream come true. And it's coming out at the end of the year. So I'm really excited for everyone to watch. <laughs> That's beautiful. Now, you're going to be 14. Do you see yourself <laughs> doing this for a whole lifetime? Yes, I do. Honestly, this is what I want to do, like, forever. Because I just... It's just so natural for me. And I've always loved animation, obviously, and acting. And I just want to be a really big celebrity so that I can show kids that they don't have to be grown ups to follow their dreams because you can do it right now. I'm doing it. Everything's going well. So I'm definitely doing this for the rest of my life. That's beautiful. I love how you want to start a foundation and how you want mm -hmm. to already show other people, show other people your age that this is nothing yeah. to be afraid of. It's something to embrace. It's a gift, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so what is your, what is your typical day like when you are mm -hmm. on set? Because we have to do things like sleep and eat and, and yeah. hug our mothers and, you know, different things. So what does your day look like when you're on a set? Okay, so um, it depends on like the set, the production, they can have like different schedules and stuff. But mostly my on like, my call times are very early in the morning, which I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they, they just like, they do me really bad on that because I have to wake up like 6am or 5am sometimes. And then I have like a, a van or a driver comes and picks you up. And then you go and eat breakfast there. You know, they have like a whole table and stuff. It's amazing. And then after that, you go into costume and makeup really quickly. And then you start your day on filming. After you film, there are snacks. If you're not filming, you're either memorizing your lines or you're eating or doing something else. You're always doing something. Maybe you're doing like behind the scenes, like videos or stuff like that. And then after your day, you could like, choose to eat and then you go home in the van so it's like really packed but it's really fun awesome so how many hours is that typically sometimes okay it depends on your role if you're like the main character then you know you're staying the whole day because like they want to get things done really quickly but for child actors there's a limit I only do about sometimes voice acting I do four hours uh no yeah I do four hours like sometimes not even four sometimes like two or three because there's a limit but like acting acting I can be able to stay for like five or six hours you know yeah do you have any friends that are actors around your age um do I have any friends who are okay um I do actually like on social media there are some that are actors some are like young musicians so yeah we do keep in touch and yeah we're a lot actually yeah <laughs> it's important to have friends that understand you or at least pre appreciate what you're doing yeah it is really important do you have an agent mm, agent wow <laughs> okay um 
I do kind of have an agent here in Kenya, but I'd love to find an agent in the US because I'd really love to move there. I keep on bugging my parents about it because I've always wanted to do like, you know, just go bigger, you know? I feel like I'm more just like here. I want to be here, you know? So I'd really love an agent in the US. But the one I have here is really nice. She helps me a lot. <laughs> she gave me that really big project that I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Good. That's excellent. I've, you know, as a coach, I'm always telling people, you know, learning, very important. Experience, getting out there and actually being on a set or on a stage. But a support group is everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, one thing you said at the beginning, which I'm very mm -hmm. intrigued about, you say you're a a spokesperson, a um, something, what did you say? You said film, yes, animation, yes, but something else. Um, oh, TV host. I hosted uh, a TV uh, show, yeah. You host a TV show. <laughs> yeah, I used to host a TV show a while back, I think for like a year or two. It's just a, it's a kid's TV show that is educational and I used to do that. So people used to know me. It's kind of a big thing here, you know? So yeah. <laughs> what was it called? It's called Generation Three. Okay. Did yeah. you enjoy it? That's a big, that's a big responsibility. Yeah, it was amazing. I used to go there like again, my school was really supportive. That time I was actually going to school. So I used to go there on Saturdays and they would allow me. It was really fun. It was, it was amazing. I used to like, there was this segment called Kitchen Corner where we cook. So I was really looking forward to that. <laughs> if someone wanted to contact you, how would they do that? Um, I have a Gmail, actually. You could contact my Gmail or my dad's Gmail. So mine is stacywawaru at yahoo.com. And then my dad is njata at gmail.com. Or Joseph at Gmail. <laughs> Do you have a website currently? Oh, we're working on that, actually. We are. <laughs> but I would love to get a website. I know it's really important. And I'm bugging my parents about it. So we're going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you were on LinkedIn because that's where we first met. Yes, LinkedIn. <laughs> Good. Now I have a big question for you. As a 13 going <laughs> on a 14... Do you find time just to have, just to be Stacy and just to have fun? I do actually. I find a lot of time because um, with the voice acting, it's not like I go every day. So some days I'm like just, you know, at home <laughs> or with my friends hanging out. So I do, I do have time, but I don't. That's the weird thing. I want to like be on set all day. Like it's really fun, you know, just like being on camera and then going somewhere else. I love having a, a packed schedule. It makes me feel good. <laughs> okay. So you're saying that your work is also fun. Yeah, it's really fun. This is excellent. I <clears throat> have enjoyed this conversation with you and I'm telling you, I'm going to follow you and I'm looking <laughs> forward to seeing your website and your movies. Um, mm -hmm. And so are all this audience that you're going to be, um, that they're going to, they're going to talk to you. They're going to comment on this video because I know them, some of them, because uh, this goes out to, to all over the world. So I really appreciate your time today. I really do. Thank you. Uh, that's quite amazing. You're on an amazing journey. God gave you an amazing journey. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for being on Real Actors, Real Answers, and you have a blessed day. You too. Thank you so much for having me. I had so much fun. <laughs>